A person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except thoughts. So he loses touch with reality and lives in a world of illusions. By thoughts I mean specifically chatter in the skull, perpetual and compulsive repetition of words, of reckoning and calculating. I'm not saying that thinking is bad. Like everything else, it's useful in moderation. A good servant, but a bad master. And all so-called civilized peoples have increasingly become crazy and self-destructive because through excessive thinking, they have lost touch with reality. That's to say, we confuse signs words, numbers, symbols, and ideas with the real world. Most of us would have rather money than tangible wealth, and a great occasion is somehow spoiled for us unless photographed. And to read about it the next day in the newspaper is oddly more fun for us than the original event. This is a disaster. For as a result of confusing the real world of nature with mere signs, such as bank balances and contracts, we are destroying nature. We are so tied up in our minds that we've lost our senses. Time to wake up. What is reality? Obviously, no one can say, because it isn't words. It isn't material, that's just an idea. It isn't spiritual, that's also an idea, a symbol. Reality is this. Realize that anybody whom you consider in matters spiritual, psychological, and so on, has an authority. Has this authority because of your opinion that he has, or she has? How do you know? It's an expression of you as you are. And don't fool yourselves. I'm not trying to put you down by talking about the quaking mess. The quaking mess may be, in fact, something very, very natural. The way we are, the state of affairs, and we shouldn't be ashamed of it. I'm not ashamed of it. I told you I'm attracted. <laughs> Stop.